Oh boy, this might not be a good episode. This is my fourth episode of the recording session, which usually never happens. I usually stop after the third video, but since I'm going to be leaving to go to Michigan to see family soon, I thought, you know what? I'm going to record a fourth video because why not? And also, we're going to be tackling two of the missions that I utterly hate in this game. So, worn out voice, missions I utterly hate, this episode is just doomed to fail. Well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players, I am Plays, and welcome back to another episode of Guards Hearing Me, because for some reason these roofs are attached to each other, and then you automatically kill him. Yes, this series has a really long name, and then I guess the encore is I killed that guard. If that makes any sense at all. Anyways, in the last episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves, we continued episode 4 by... Bur yeah, breaking Sly out of jail. I almost said we broke Murray out of jail. We did not do that, but we did break Sly out of jail. And then we actually made it so Murray can hopefully be broken out of jail. And then we bombed the bridge, which I believe may still be cracked, but I do not believe it is. But in this episode, we're going to start by doing this mission close to Contessa. Oh god, I don't like it. Get at Murray, I'll need the tank patrol schedule off of the Contessa. No problem. I'm an old hand at pickpocketing. This is going to be tougher than you think. The Contessa's no fool. Since your escape, she never goes anywhere without bodyguards. You'll have to take them out one by one in order to get close to her. I should probably use noise to lure them away from the Contessa. I just realized this mission might not be as hard as I think it might be. The reason why is because I have the alarm clock. Yes, if you did not, actually, if you do not know, the alarm clock is used to make it so you can distract guards and get them away from something that you want to actually attack. So, or at least away from something that you do not want to interfere or whatever. I'm going to wait until, can th yeah. I'm going to wait until the Contessa gets a little bit farther. As you see, I am already having a lot of trouble and we're going to be using the alarm clock. The one guard will follow- oh crap, okay, only one of the guards followed. I thought a second one was going to follow, and if a second one followed, that would have ruined the whole plan, and that would not have been good. Now, what you're usually supposed to do is you're supposed to go behind the one guard, and then you are supposed to attack him. The other guard hears that and then chases after you, and then you kind of have to wait to get that guard out of the way, and then you pickpocket the Contessa. Now, you definitely do not want to uh, attack the one guard really close to the Contessa, because that could be a bad thing. Now, luckily, there is no train anymore, so you do not have to worry about a train, at least on this area. We, the Contessa does not only walk around in this area, because as you see, there are three items that we need to get currently. And, of course, we are not going to be able to get all three of those items within one go. Now, let's get rid of this guy, and now we can run after the Contessa and hopefully get at least one of the items that we need. I believe we need two tank keys, and then, like, a tank schedule or something. Oh god, I don't think I've ever really gotten the Contessa to go this far on the train tracks. Usually, I get her way before this. But we have the tank hatch key. Who goes there? Huh? Where... Where are my gods? And yes, once you get rid of the first thing, she goes away. Now we have to go to a different area, which we only know where it is due to a kind of waypoint, I guess you could say. Or, you know what it is, it's a waypoint. Now, why is... Okay, I guess I'm not used to inverted controls here. We have to get into a certain area is what we have to do right now. Hopefully, I do remember how to get into this area if I can actually see where I'm going. I believe there isn't... Yep, right there. We can actually grab onto this and then climb up here in order to get into where we need to go. At least I think there's a way to get into the inside of this wall. Because, well, we haven't really been on the inside of this wall. That is because we haven't really needed to go on the inside. But yes, there is a whole bunch of level in this area that we have not seen yet, and that we will barely see because, in a lot of ways, there is not much reason to actually go here. But we do need to find where the Contessa is walking currently. Hopefully I'm not walking- I am walking in the direction she is going. Oh god, we have to run the other way. I was thinking- like, I was seeing certain things and I'm like, you know what? I think I'm running in the opposite direction. 
and guess what I was. It was because we're in this weird kind of crossroad thing here where one of the guards was there, or at least the Contessa was there, so I thought that she was walking this way, but it was not the case. Now, I'm not going to be using the alarm trick on this guy because he was right there. Luckily, that made it so this guy is wondering like, oh, what happened, you know? Or I could do the guard voice I was doing for this whole entire session, like, oh, what happened? Where are we going? What's what's going on here? You know, uh, I don't know. I'm going to run back to the Contessa because I'm her guard and then we're going to kill him, which, oh God, it might be a her. I don't know. It might be a her. That wasn't originally why I said, oh my God, but I decided to say that because I thought it'd be a funny joke. Now, the bad thing is there are only two, no, there are three guards this time instead of the usual two that we were using. And also this prison area has a lot of guard. What the heck? What? Whoa, what? What the heck were you doing, Contessa? What the heck? Like, I don't know what she was trying to do there, but I think maybe I can get this. Oh God. I want to be careful, because can I get the guard to follow? No, he did not hear me. Please, guard, hear this. There we go. That is what I wanted. If you do that, or at least do the ground pound, that is another way to get the guard to kind of go into your direction, or at least make it so they can hear you. And I just remembered something that was originally supposed to be in the original Sly 2 for the PlayStation 2, which I believe may still be a thing, but I'm not quite sure. In the original PlayStation 2 version, I believe you can plug in a PlayStation 2 microphone and you can make it so you have to be quiet when you play this game. Because if you talk in the microphone too close to guards, the guards will actually notice you. Now I believe this is only in the PS2 and only with a few certain mics and I am very lucky that I stole that key before the spotlight tried hitting me. Now am I in the hit, hit animation? Oh god, I- yes I am in hit animation. <laughs> I thought I got out of that without actually getting hit. But no, sadly, I did get hit. And is this, is this our first bottle? No, that is our fourth bottle. Never mind. For some reason, I thought it was our first bottle we have gotten in this episode. Or it was. Whatever. I don't know. Fourth episode. Grammar's weird. You, you get the drill, man. It's a very rare occurrence. And also, my mouth is kind of dry. Which is really weird because I think I've drank in two glasses of water within this recording session. Which you'd think would be totally enough, but when you were talking your mouth off for such a long time, you do not realize how much, or at least how thankful you are for having water in your system. I do not want to jump off there. I actually want to go a little bit farther on this area and jump way down here because I forgot that for some odd reason that you can jump a little bit there. I don't know why, but let's see, is there a good place we can jump off to? I believe she is not going to be going this way, so I please make it. There we go. If we make it onto this bridge, we should be able to walk around and then get these guys. Now, this might be weird, but I find this part here the easier one of the three. Or at least, it's it's easier than the second one, because unlike the, sec yeah, unlike the second one, there are not a whole crap load of spotlights that are trying to find you, like up there on that one strip, or also in the prison area, so you don't have to worry about, oh, I might run into the spotlight and make it so the Contessa finds me, because guess what? The Contessa is not like a flashlight guard. She, with her web, can actually jump up and find you, and wait, what? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, I'm stupid. Okay, Jordan is officially stupid. I was wondering, like, why is there only two guards? But I forgot my strategy. Do the one guard, and then get the second guard when he actually is looking for you, and then the third guard just does this. Which, in all honesty, I probably should have done the first time with the first set of keys, because that would have been a little bit easier than what I originally did. Please, Contessa, be far enough away so I can actually get this guy without you knowing I got him. Where are you? Where? Oh, you are around this thing. I want to walk around this, because I do not want you to see me on the other side, which could be really bad, because... If she sees you, you have to restart the last key you did, which is really nice. It's better than having to restart the whole mission, but I'd rather not have to do that. And let's get the last thing. The tank patrol schedule. What? Huh? Where are those lazy bodyguards? They're all fired. Great work. Now we're all set up to steal a tank. Oh god, that mission is probably one of the longer missions we have done so far. I believe we are on the 10 minute range of this episode, which is crazy considering, like I said, we only did one mission. Now, oh god, 
I think I'm going to do the mission I hate the most in this episode first, because, well, I don't know. I usually leave one of these missions for last, and the reason for it is because, I don't know, it's just harder to get to that mission than it is the other mission. Also, I do not know why I was not able to sneak attack that guy. I don't think I'll ever know why I was not able to do that. Is there a way to get... No, there is not a way to get up there. I need to go back over here because... Uh, is it here? Where is it? Where is that one area that has a spotlight on it that we can act actually... I see where it is. It is over here in that stupid guard. You, I do not like you, guard. You can go die in a hole. And that hole is very deep. And also... Was that a bat who jumped after me? Or was that one of the rocks they tried throwing? I have no idea, but... Usually when I have to get into this area, I usually try going, oh god, I cannot see where I'm going. I turned around. Okay, let's walk forward. Wait, what? Okay, that was embarrassing. I actually had to stand up because I could not see where I was going, and I did not know what I was stuck on. Now, you guys, you can see it perfectly fine, so you probably won't have much trouble. But there are two missions here, that lightning one and then this one. I'm doing this one first, Kyoed? code capture because it is closer Fly, i need your help getting a handle on the contessa's encryption algorithm i'd love to pal but i have no idea what you're talking about all right i'll explain it to you one piece at a time in that security station the guard nearby is responsible for its upkeep i'm with you first i'll need you to pickpocket his key to the terminal sure no problem then use it on the security station to set off the alarm Hold up. You want me to set off the alarm? Yeah, set it off, then clear out as the guard's sure to come running. Once he sees that it's a false alarm, he'll input the code to turn it off. So you want me to take a picture of the code? Move to a safe place and get a clean shot of that digital readout. Should I hit all the security stations out here? That's right. Once I've got a large enough sample of the Contessa's codes, I should be able to crack her encryption algorithm. Uh, now, see, you lost me again. Just take the pictures. I'll handle the rest. <laughs> yeah, why is there a huge screen that shows the code when they type in the code? You think that'd be stupid, but I have no idea. But what we have to do, we have to go up to the guard. We have to... Oh god, burps are coming. We have to pick up his security key, and then we have to run over to this area right here. Now... Not all of these are this easy, because once we get to the next ones, the guards will start moving, and I do not like it when the guards start moving. But now, we have to get to a safe distance, which is right where we started, and then get our picture ready, and then don't take the picture until it comes up. Even though it says we can take the picture now, we can't really because, well, it's not showing anything we need. So, in all honesty, this is what takes up the place of the recon mission because we really don't have a recon mission in this episode because we did not have Sly in the beginning of this episode to do said recon mission. So that is why it's a little bit different now. Where do I want to go to get up to this area? I guess I can go over here. Also, if you want to know, once the guards, once the key is gone and you got the one code thing, you can kill the guards if you want to, but I'm just going to avoid them because why? God dang it. Right when I said I was going to avoid guards, I ran right into that guard as I thought that I might be able to actually avoid him, but I think I have to fight this guy or not. Jesus Christ, you'd think the guards would be able to find me, but for some reason they are not able to find me a lot of the times. Oh god, this is my least favorite one. Oh god, I actually, I don't think I can actually do that. Can I? I think there's something they want you to hit here. Yes, it is, right here. They want you to hit that bell, because that bell makes it so the guard runs over to the other side, and then you can actually pickpocket the guard, or at least the key that you need to pickpocket, and then you are all hunky-dory. Now, hopefully I can run out of the way before he turns around, because that would be perfectly fine. And now, we have to do this again, because he really likes standing by that one thing. He will not move unless you hit that bell. But what we have to do is we have to hit that bell, then we have to run around, do the code thing, then run back here, climb up on this thing, and then I believe run over here, and then climb up on here, and then jump up here, and then go onto this thing, and then I think we're able to see the- yes, we are able to see- 
that is not what I wanted to do. We were able to see the code from there. Now, you might be wondering why I just did that. That is because I wanted to make sure I knew what to do. Because this one, in all honesty, is the one I hate the most. I think I already mentioned that, so I probably should not have mentioned it again. But I really do not like how you have to do this one. Because there's so much stuff you have to do. You have to, Like I said, you have to do that, and you have to do this whole big like finagle or whatever. And you have to do it within a certain amount of time before the code actually goes away. Now, luckily, those guards do not walk very fast when they are trying to walk back to where the code is. So that is really nice. And, oh god. What the heck? We got there way faster than I thought we needed to. Okay. Never mind. I guess this is a little bit easier than I thought it was. Because usually he's pretty close to the area before I get there. But... As always, I would make sure you know the route in order to get to an area that you can actually take the picture, and oh god. You can see the roof on the capture, but this roof is almost completely black to me right now. That is kind of sad. And to think, I originally changed this. I know I mentioned this before, in I believe two episodes ago, but I originally changed it so it would be easier to see what I was doing. But that doesn't change much. This game really likes trolling me, making it feel like... I'm going to still be in a fight, and then for some odd reason, the guards do that weird howl thing, meaning they lost me and they gave up. Which is weird why the wolves howl when that happens, but eh, whatever. To his their own, I guess you could say for that moment there. But we have this one here, which I believe is my, I guess, second least favorite, because there are guards that can get in your way, and that's also not good. But luckily, I am way too close to this guy for comfort, I need to back up right now. So, luckily, these guys like to walk around, and I believe what I want to do right now is I want to walk up here, and I want to take this guy out, because he is going to get in our way, and I do not want him to get in our way. Hopefully, there is no other guard. God dang it. I knew it. I knew there was going to be another guard. Thank you for killing him like that, but we need to get this. And then luckily, this run is not as hard as the other one. All you have to do is go up here, and then I believe you have to jump onto this, and my one thing- one part of my fish tank is making a weird noise right now. I'm pretty sure you can't hear it, but it just kind of scared me, because I'm like, what's vibrating? But it is actually- I believe it's the air bubble thing that pops up, I guess you could say. Well, not- what, what I mean, it's- it's the thing- it is the thing in fish tanks that make it so air goes into the fish tank because, well, once you have a decent amount of fish in a tank, you want to make sure there's enough air in the water because, if you do not know, fish do breathe air, but they have to be in water because they breathe air through the water. I really hope that is the best way I could have explained it because I believe that's how it works. Because they don't just breathe in the water. That is why you need oxygenated water when you have fish. If the water is not oxygenated, the fish can't live because oxygen is what keeps all of us alive. And wait, can I still- can I still stand here? Is this a thing? No, God, I really- I really wish that was a thing right now. I really wish I could actually- You? Son of a gun. I really wish I could just do that right now, but I guess it's something that is only meant for a one-time occasion. And oh God, is that tank still here? I don't think the tank is here for this mission. The reason I say that is because if the tank was here for this mission, that would be crazy. Now, I need to get this key f Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, mm, I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that this is like death here. I really hope I can just get up here and get out of the- I hate this mi- I hate this episode. I hate this mission. God dang it. Oh god. Whew. I am overreacting. Okay. That's good. Let's put the key in here. Let's jump up here. And let's get there before that guard decides to, uh, rain on our parade. Hopefully I can do this, especially because I can barely see what I'm doing. God dang it. Oh god, I probably- I knew that was gonna fuck up. Oh, now I have to wait. Now what you want to actually do is you want to come over here, and then you want to grab onto that, making it so you can actually take the picture over here. Which is a lot- I mean, that went a lot smoother than the other one. Also, that could be 3.14, except, except it is not, because there is no point. Oh god, 
That is about it for this episode and also this session of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. There is no way I can record a fifth episode in this session. It was probably stretching it making a fourth episode in the session, but whatever. I still had some fun even though I did not like the missions. Anyways, in the next episode of this Let's Play, we are going to be taking on the last mission that we could possibly take on right now, Lightning Action, and then possibly starting the operation. Now, I know I said I don't like to stop episodes in the middle of a mission, but I might have to for next episode because this operation that's coming up definitely takes a while. So, this has been Juddleplay saying see you later and goodbye. Thank you.